it's a showroom for your abilities and this is how you can take an edge and impress people if you're new to the channel we release podcasts every single week on this channel so this is a small clip from the long form podcast and if you're interested in watching that long form podcast link is in the description i hope you find this clip very valuable since you already talked about it like let's go through what are the things you were like working on before you came to united states and then how did you pivot it when you landed and what did you start working on after you landed i think so uh, i would want to start with my github account nice. i think and this my this talk might be exclusively become more exclusive for software people but the thing is that if you are a if you are a designer then have a dribble account or a uh, unsplash or whatever the concerned website is yeah but the yeah. the whole point here is to display your skills on a platform where people can actually see them and and i'll say and i agree 100% and i'll say even if you're like a product manager business analyst watching this uh, take inspiration and how you can apply this to your particular field because product managers can have like road maps and like designs and use cases uh, designers can have that the project managers can have like again lots of lots of things uh, so what i feel like summarizing to things you've done is like uh, portfolio building profile building resume and that's what you're be going like, to now see what you've done so let's go sure so so this is my github it's 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 basically a showcase of all the projects that i did so and these are the very projects that i speak the most about in every interview and whenever during an interview they want to see so you know talk is cheap right when you talk if you back it up with some sort of proof however subtle it may be then then that's how you mm. build the trust in a conversation and that's how you can win over an interview and be the right person they want to hire so yeah they say uh, in storytelling as well that because all interviews are storytelling uh, it's not about uh telling it's more about showing so this is like when you tell show them uh, which is amazing and all these projects i did in the last year of my bachelor so i had during the last 6 months before i was coming here what i did was i made sure i hosted all of them even if it cost me some money i put in that money even though it didn't but uh, if even if it costs you some money to host these things so that you can actually show them what you worked on it's it's going to be immensely helpful so just go for it that would be my mm. greatest advice mm. and just speaking of software projects having a good read me you know showing people how you can actually other people can use your projects it shows a lot of things lot of software qualities that software engineers are uh, the senior software engineers are looking for in general so having a good you know documentation about your project yeah in it, I don't know like it it's also shows your so so I think you've done it very sneakily you've also showed your personality if you scroll down it says uh, built with a lot of love and a little javascript so it's like it's like very quirky uh, right so it's like shows who you are as a person and not just the code so again your opportunity to uh, yeah like display yourself who you are as a person and again become my distraction social media <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's very very quirky so this is awesome man this is yeah this is love it i love i love this so so like uh, i can show you some other i can show you another github project which is my own portfolio uh and i want to segue into my portfolio website now which is wait in in wait just a, a quick uh, before we get into your website how did you think about these ideas uh, so like a lot of time people will like i'll say them that you should work on your portfolio so how did you think about these like okay i should make this app or i should make this project uh, what was your inspiration and then how did you like uh, execute them that's a great question and i'm a big believer of solving problems that you see around yourself because uh a you will learn in the process of solving the problem b you will help people c it will become a talking point for the rest of your life love it yeah yeah so this is so good uh let's dive into your portfolio 
So, hey, just, oh, before before that, um, and one other thing for all the software engineers, uh, this is again, if you came to my meetup, I've said this many times that uh, having GitHub profile is like uh, so good for you because it shows your coding practices, how you are as a coder. Like, uh, do you practice commenting and do you like do documentation? Like, I was a manager for seven engineers or software engineers, and uh, so I had to do all of this. I hired engineers, so. When I see something like this, and if if Shitej would have sent me like a LinkedIn message or something that, hey, here's my profile, I would have immediately called him and said, like, I want to hire you. Or at least I would, I would definitely give him a much more priority that let's talk uh, because I want to see. Uh, because this already gives me a lot more impressions of, one, he's a good engineer, he's going to like get stuff done, things like that. Let's take a look at your po uh, portfolio. I'm excited to see this. Okay, yeah. So portfolio i think it's another very important thing i hosted it on github pages and this i i hosted all my projects on heroku there are some other heroku is now paid but there are other free options like render and then um i think i have it written down somewhere here mm. uh yeah render and vercel is another good option so you can do all of this for free not mm. a single penny is is needed here and mm. and another good point that i have here is you don't even have to code all of this from scratch there are literally uh, template websites that you can create which you can just download this right here and you can this will give you a whole free website and then you just change your name and do whatever you want I literally gifted a portfolio website to one of my friends for his birthday because it was so easy to do. <laughs> I just changed the name and yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, unbelievable the effort it takes to make, but the return it's going to give you on that effort. So uh, yeah, every single person who's watching this uh, should make a website. And I know the next follow-up question is, what am I going to put on my website? So let's let's see. <laughs> That's a great question. So yeah. so I start with simply again giving you a splash of my personality. I hope you got a good gauge on it by now. And yeah. then straight away for a software guy, his projects are the main thing that speaks volumes about him. So I have my projects hosted here in my yeah. portfolio. I have I have these projects which I'm hosting, and then about more than my projects, who I am as a person, I help people, I do some sort of uh, exercise, and this is how to connect to me, my social handles. And lastly, these are all my projects here hosted. These are the research work I have done. These are my coding platform, you mm. know, Code Chef, GitHub, Stack Overflow, Read code and these are my achievements which are not important work x stuff like that just you know a place mm -hmm. where it's a showcase it's a showroom for your abilities and this is how you can take energy and impress people yeah love it um yeah no this is awesome and i i think uh again short sweet d talks about who you are talks about what you have done so far uh online presence again think about like from hiring manager perspective does he have the credibility of what he's saying um, yes he does go to the website go to the project project is clickable to the github go to the code it's there it's working plus all the projects are hosted it's in the working state there's a lot more credibility than just putting it on your resume and hoping that hiring manager gets convinced exactly that's that's exactly what i wanted to say and you've put it in the perfect uh, nice way. if you enjoyed this clip of the podcast i am pretty sure you want to watch the entire podcast which is linked here or you might want to watch other relevant clips right here